a lot of people find that the most difficult part of a um, fertility treatment cycle is when it hasn't worked, when they've had a negative result, how they then cope after that, how they then get moving and, and feel confident and hopeful going back into, into another cycle. It's the point where you know that treatment hasn't worked, so your hope of it working has gone. It's the point where you have less contact with your clinic so you may have had a lot of contact with your clinic up to this point and suddenly from that point I said it's like going cold turkey from being at the clinic you have all this support and suddenly you don't up until your follow-up appointment it can be really difficult to to cope with that so there's some of the things that I always say to have a think about after a failed cycle so the first is what will help me recover from this failed cycle so have a think about some of the things that have helped you recover from losses or upsets in the past when something's happened what helped you to recover um whether that's something like journaling whether it's spending time with with certain friends and family that you can talk to and that always help you see things a bit more clearly and um, whether it's seeing a counselor or a therapist um have a think about what coping mechanisms you use and what works for you and use some of those things. Um, remember, it's okay to grieve for it. Um, I know people outside of going through treatment may not fully understand why you're so upset because it hasn't worked. But I think when you've been through it yourself, you understand the, the hope that you had for that embryo. You do grieve for it. It's okay to grieve for it. You have suffered a loss. So give yourself time and do what you need to do to get through it and use your support network, rely on them to get you through it. Whoever that is and whatever support works for you, use that network. Once you've kind of thought about how you can recover from it and you're starting to think about the next steps, have a think about what am I pleased that I did during this round? So it might be that you were eating really healthily, you got lots of rest, um, you did a certain add-on treatment that you felt helped, or you did acupuncture or reflexology, I know sometimes that research is maybe um, doesn't show benefits of certain things, but if you felt that acupuncture helped you sleep better, and that it helped you feel more relaxed, then think about what it was that made you feel good and what helped you get through this round. Um, so what helped you feel better through treatment, either physically or emotionally, so that you can replicate the good things if you decide to have another cycle. So just because you did all those things doesn't mean that that stopped it working. It's just... Unfortunately, the statistics are that it, it doesn't work every time. And so think about the things that went well that you'd like to replicate. Then have a think about what can we learn from this cycle. So based on that, what can we do differently next time? Are there any changes we can make? And, and this isn't about placing blame on anybody because it's really important to not blame yourself for it not working. Unfortunately, this is... There is nothing you can do to control it. So don't don't place blame on yourself or anybody afterwards. It's just these things can happen. So don't please make sure you're not blaming yourself, but use this as what can we learn to make changes from and speak to your consultant, go to your follow-up appointment with lots of questions about that. And it might be that they would look at, well, we could try a different medication, we could try a different protocol, we could try a different add-on treatment. I think we feel better when we know, um, when we think there's something we can do differently because we think the outcome will be different next time. And um, so have a look and see if there's anything that you feel you can do differently. And um, after my first cycle, I worked after my transfer and I felt like I was really stressed. So for me, my second cycle, I wanted to take time off because I felt that was something I could do differently and take control of. So speak to your fertility clinic about any changes they would recommend about how it could increase your chances and think about things you'd like to do differently next time so that you can make changes if you have another cycle. And then it's really important, have a think about, do we need to take a break from treatments? It's very um, easy to think you want to rush back into the next cycle and just start trying again. And I was very much the same, but actually think about how you're coping, how you're feeling physically and emotionally. Are you in the best state for carrying on? Or do we need to take a break? And um, before we consider trying again, or do you are you at a point where you feel you can't emotionally phys and physically go through another cycle? Have a think about what's right for you, and and that's the most important thing. What do I need to do to cope, and what do I want to do next? And is there anything that will help me make that decision?